Any predictions, Brian? Uh, well, I did see uh, the... Uh... Oh, crap. What are they? What's their clan name again? We've got VOW and the Lords of Truth. Yeah, VOW. The Voices of War something like that. At any rate, uh, they played very well last time I saw them play. Uh, uh, Sekuraz and Nub expanded like the plague. It was insane. So I think they've got a, a pretty darn good chance of, of pulling off a win if they can continue to play to that same caliber. Yeah. Um, last game, actually, they got stuck, all three of them, on just a little pretty much the southern island space with uh, I believe is Elodia right nearby them and he is able to just hit their air their pretty much air rusher and they just couldn't take him out and they lost that game really hard so it'll be interesting to see them actually uh, hopefully this time able to expand and play hard like they should be and what it sounds like they're capable of. Yeah, they 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 were very impressive in the match that I cast of, of theirs. Uh, um, I think it was Cryo got taken out fairly early on, but it, by that point, Sikuraz and Nub had expanded so far and so fast that it didn't matter that they lost a player. So then they just swarmed Klops destroyed destroying him and then the uh, the rest of the enemy team just took refuge on the enemy planet or the other planet and they just ended up here we go game starts in two one okay let's take a look at the spawns all right well it looks like that nub and cryo are close together and they're on the same island as pta4h and it looks yeah, like but that if, if, if you look at Sakuraz, he is on the far end of that um, one peninsula while the uh, um, let's see Max and Pizza uh, no wait no that's in Negro yeah, yeah uh, that's Negro so they're they're uh, yeah so they're he's really just hemmed off on that backside and honestly this guy is gonna need to go go uh, orbital or use an air transport to get him to the other uh, island or something because he is screwed. Actually, he is in a pretty good position. If he can stay hidden, he could get up some, uh, especially if he gets to advanced, he can get up some nice artillery and hit PT-4H. But If he stays hidden, and I, yeah. I seriously doubt that's going to happen because there's the, that, uh, yeah, that just won't happen, or that won't after a while he's going to get found either because he's going to be expanding t towards them or they're going to expand towards him. Yeah, it looks like so Max and Negro have go gone well. air for this battle, which is surprising. Well, air is very very powerful in this tournament style. With the current build, bumblebees are just very powerful. And uh, going for a bomber snipe, taking out one of your opponents and turning it into a 3v2 is a really big deal. All right, and it and, looks like uh, Sekura's uh, just got Sekura has been found, yep. No way he's going to stay hidden. And it looks Cairo like that been scouted as well. Negro's expanding with a vehicle factory about halfway between him and Sekura's. Yep, very nice move. Pump uh, pump out a bunch of Infernos close to the enemy and just overwhelm them hard and fast. Yep, another strategy I've seen with um, Infernos was actually in the first game I casted, Mott created a teleporter right nearby the enemy base, and he was able to get about 20 Infernos into the base itself. Ultimately, it didn't yeah. really help, but it was still a really nice move for what it was worth. Teleporters have been used several times in this tournament. Um, in one of the previous matches, Marshall was pretty much losing. They had pretty much lost at that point. However, he, he, in a, he was on the second planet being invaded, and there were a bunch of units all over the place. He popped up a teleporter and got a bunch of vanguards right on top of the enemy and, and killed, 
killed uh, that, that commander, which then took out all of the units that were invading his territory for a very surprising rever uh, reversal. Yep, and it looks like PT4H is being pretty aggressive towards Cairo. Cryo. He's already got Aventales headed at him. Yeah. But he does have a very nice choke point in between uh, that mountain and those those lava lakes. He could put up a few defense, laser defense towers with some walls and then shut down His units coming got that way. Yeah, in, but... In this, in this match, it's going to be very important that people use these choke points with the lava, with the laser defense towers. Yeah, which is actually something you don't really usually see. A lot of better players have gotten so used to not needing laser defenses that they just don't think to build them. Mm-hmm, and then if they go against somebody who does build them, well, now they're trying to force units through a small choke point with no way around against walls and laser defense towers, and that just doesn't go over well. Yep. Oh, it looks like Negro is expanding onto the southern body there. He's getting a... He almost has a vehicle factory halfway up. He's already grabbed the mexes in a small area. And he'll be right behind Red at that point, and Red is going pretty much all air. So that can be a really good move for him. Yeah, I don't see any orbital factories yet, which is very surprising. Yep, it looks There's like... There's two other planets, and both of them are smashable. Yeah, which usually you would want... You know, most players would actually just want to rush on it, but it looks like these people are just playing on this planet which is something you also see tend to see on people who usually do 1v1s because they just never play interplanetary yeah I guess my curse is stronger than your curse I don't know I, I well, think uh, this might be Cairo is doing some very nice moves against PT4H taking out several yeah. metal extractors and has got a sizable force moving in sending his commander in forwards taking out a few expansions but PT4H is getting some help here from Max. Max is sending in bombers. Nope, Nub has found uh, Negro's um, expansion on that far side of those air fabers. It's a matter of is he going to be notice it? Yep, he has noticed it. And uh, what is that? A laser laser, laser. towers being built. Yeah. Oh, and it's going to get replaced. Going for the reclaim. All right, and it looks like finally some troops are coming out of those vehicle factories. In comes a bomber. Either way, the element of surprise is gone. Yep. So now he knows to watch Fabers out. down. Yep. Oh, a bunch of bombers. Nope, not a bunch of bombers, but some bombers are flying overhead and going for the snipe, but it wasn't enough. Uh, ooh, uh, PT4H is being pretty aggressive with his commander and some units. I'm, it looks like he's going to overextend himself here, though. Yeah, if his commander gets cut off, Furnos are taking pretty big hits, but that commander of Cryos is taking quite a few hits himself. Bomber coming in, though. And... Whew, that, was, that, that was very risky. That could have gone very bad for him very quickly. Yeah, if... It looks like he's going to manage to come out on top. Yeah, if PTH4 had not had more troops coming to back him up, and Cryo had had troops to encircle him, he would have been in a really bad place, but Cryo didn't have enough troops to encircle. So far, uh, Sakura is in the black, has pretty much been left alone, and he's now amassed a decent uh, force of vehicles, which are now actually moving forward. Yep, um, and it looks like Max is going for what he usually goes for, which is all air at this moment and he's just sending out little harassment groups but nothing sizable eh, well this group that's now clumping together is pretty sizable and is moving yep. towards Cairo who has no anti-air we're probably going to see a commander snipe that looks like what he's going for he does have a little nope. bit of anti-air just enough to a little bit. turn Max around which now Max looks like he's giving up, but if he had just circled round to the other side of the base, he would have been perfectly fine. Looks like he's actually going to help Negro, because Negro's in pretty big trouble uh, yeah. at this moment. 
Those yeah, units that, are just uh, rushing towards the base. Doing a decent amount of damage. Oh, hey, there's an orbital factory that is idle. Oh, yeah. No orbital units built. That's always a good idle sign. Idle factories are the best. Oh, uh, um, Sakura as in the black is building up a uh, an orbital factory. Yep, and hopefully he'll actually end up using it. It, unlike Negro, who's is still sitting around. And ne actually, Negro is pretty bad with metal at this moment, and he's losing power slowly as the units. Actually, he's lost two metal. And now a power generator. All right now he lost quite a few more metal from the the initial raid, but see, and that's one of yeah. the things that I don't like about the three x power increase. You have to get a very large force in order to do any damage, which means raiding is almost impossible, and you have to micro the attacks so much in order to actually make sure that you destroy something. Yep, you can't just run units right through the base. Oh, looks like. Negro actually is getting something out. He's building an orbital fabrication bot. And we might see him attempt to drop some anchors over enemy bases. Yeah, that would be helpful, but honestly it'd be better if he goes towards the other planet. There's lots of um, prote um, easily protected eco on the other planets, and right now there's eco uh, metal spots are becoming less and less common oh and then uh so nub in the red is building an it, it, uh, orbital factory and that's bad coordination yeah. only one of them should be focusing on orbital at this time and uh, the rest should be uh focusing on trying to gain control of this main planet definitely has got another force moving forward uh, against uh negro and uh, he's gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage there's yep, not much like left he's... to stop. It's going to require Max. Yep, here comes Max with more bombers to defend. Oh, maybe not. Looks like he's trying no, to go for No, it looks like they're snipe. going for the snipe. Yep. With how common snipes have been, and what... why I don't get why people haven't been building more anti-air. And, wow. Commander's now down at half health, has no anti-air. There goes the other pass. We're going to see another commander snipe. Yep. It's something that could have been easily prevented. Yeah, he only had one air factory, and there's just no way he's going to make Down it Down goes the commander. Yep, and now all of his troops will stop attacking Negro and allow Negro to rebuild. It looks like Negro has gone up another orbital fabricator as well, and they're just sitting idle. And he's building another one also. There we go. Now they're moving. And Negro's built up a pretty sizable force, and actually, Nub's, his, uh, Red's comm is out in the open. If Negro uh -huh. was to catch him, he would be able to really do it easily, take him down easily. And I'm actually not sure which of, which of the guys for the VOW team are going air, because they have, seem to have no dedicated air group. Nope. Uh, Yellow's got, um, he's got, th okay, so he has three air factories, but they don't seem to be producing much. Yeah. Uh, Yellow doesn't have much of an air force. And there, there's that force moving forward against the Red Commander, and, okay, it looks like he, it's going to be close. Oh, but now he's sitting idle, and he's getting blocked by his own <laughs> walls. <laughs> oh, just got a pretty good Uber can off, killed about three to four units. Double barrel laser tower is helping out. Yeah, along that, with that his double barrel tails. laser tower saved his butt. Yeah, but he's vulnerable to a another snipe, and here comes more bombers. When you lose a commander to a bomber snipe, you should build anti-air. <laughs> mm-hmm. Definitely, but it looks like they've missed out, and since they don't have a dedicated air person, they have no one to counter this. Yep. And since and Max is going all commander. air, there's nothing he's going to be able to do at this moment. Here comes a bunch, but... Will it be enough? Oh, oh it looks yellow like it died. How did yellow die? Let me backtrack it. Oh, yeah, yellow. I'm looking on the chrono cam. Yellow just got overwhelmed by a bunch of uh, infernos, and left it. he left his commander on the front lines, didn't run away, 
and he just stood there while he got destroyed. Oh, I think he is sending units over to Hope Red at that moment. He was busy trying to send his troops off. Oh, Red is off. He has just escaped oh, the planet. Geez. I just saw that. That was that was so stinking close. His He almost got destroyed as his base is slowly getting wrecked around him. He's sending all of his troops through to the other planet. It doesn't really matter, though. He's not going to be able to uh, to keep up with the economy of three opponents. Then now, now what they need to do is uh, just take every single scrap of economy that they have and put it into orbital. Won't take long. Yep, either In orbital theory. or getting some nukes out, or both. Cause... So Red is on the third planet. Yep. Uh, fork and uh, white has a teleporter built on knife but nothing has come through nope and actually uh, nukes would be actually a really smart option at this point if they could get an advanced factory out yeah because that Just, commander's wounded he's not only wounded but he has no defenses anything else will probably take too much time he's got an anchor above him so sending off orbital fighters unless they have 10 to 20 of them it's not going to be much one help. way or another it doesn't really matter now it's just a matter of uh red is red is gone for so it's only a matter of uh how good is the other team at orbital i mean there's not much not much he can do all it's going to take from uh from the other team is any number of of the options he could they could go for a Astraeus drop, they could build an anchor, teleporter. Large force from a PT-4H moving in on Nub's base. Yep. Alright, looks like he's watching pretty closely and just taking over the planet as he can. He still has a pretty good economy at this moment. He's got a lot of metal spots still. But yeah, he's going to lose those here soon. Long. I mean, he needs to uh, focus really hard on getting a bunch of metal, uh, metal spots on the moon while he still has an economy. And it's not going to be long before he starts losing out on that and then his production is going to slow down drastically. Oh, here, here comes, comes Max's bombers. bombers and down goes the teleporter, down goes the orbital factory, down goes another factory. Not This base is not long for this world. Yeah, at this point Max might as well just give an attack area order over the entirety and just, they should then ignore it. There's no more, well, okay. There are some factories over, but near the, sort of the west side yeah. of that, but they're not building anything at this moment, and they've been found. So as soon as they take care of that factory, they must, they can just ignore this for the most part and just send things. Yeah, like I said, they need to take every scrap of economy that they have and just pour it into orbital. Well, teleporter's being built by Light Blue. Yep, um, Negro's already on the other planet with his commander working on building things up there. Umbrella is being put up by Nub here on Fork, so it's going to get to the point he's already got orbital radar, and if he had power, he would be able to run it. Uh, um, Nub just built a teleporter on Knife, and... Um, Negro is finally working on actually doing stuff over on Knife. Nothing's come through the teleporter yet, though. Yep, and it looks like he's building an anchor also. He's going to try to grab both of these. Sending troops through some anti-air. But uh, Nub does have a basic radar satellite over the, um, the, the fork, and a teleporter has been queued up on, on uh, fork as well. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Nub only has fighters. I don't see any bombers. So this teleporter is probably going to get built. Yep. We'll head on over to the main planet, see where there's a teleporter or something. It's... Okay, there's a teleporter. There's not a bunch of units by the teleporter, though. 
Yeah, usually what you want to do before dropping a teleporter is to get a lot of units and tell them to move through the unit, the teleporter, because they'll bunch up yep. near it. As soon as you activate, they're going to swarm through. But at this moment, oh. Negro is not only wasting energy, he's also allowing time for a reaction. Yep. And Double barrel trick coming up nearby. Underway. Yep. And no units are even moving towards it. Almost like um, Negro built that teleporter and then didn't tell his allies about it. But on the other hand, uh, um, PT4H has a bunch of units all queued up right next to a teleporter. Uh, looks but like he sent through. Th it looks like he... three <laughs> Aventales uh, came through. But PT4H doesn't have any uh, or doesn't have orbital, so that. Teleporter doesn't ma matter until he gets this orbital factory finished, which isn't even halfway. Then it's then a orbital faber, then a teleporter to the other planet. All right. So at this moment, Nub is moving th more units through. He's got a anchor above his teleporter on knife, so he's actually in a pretty good place right here. Some more Aventales have yep. come through, but there goes the teleporter. Two double barrel turrets is just taking down the rest of his troops. Yeah, uh, Negro d does have a, a basic orbital, a basic satellite over uh, Fork, so he does know about the base that uh, Nub is erecting over on Fourth. Fork. Yeah. All right. So it looks like that PT4 actually map. I think yeah Max is about to drop orbital if he can build all right he's starting to build and he should be able to get a bunch of units through he's got quite a few queued up about 20 and it's activated there they go there we go lots of units just flying through there taking out enemy units Oh, so that's... this this, is, this match has has suffered from a lot of of communication errors. It seems like if the three guys had been working together, they would have heard about all this stuff, and they had just communicated better and worked together. A lot of this stuff wouldn't wouldn't have happened. And it looks like uh, Nub is trying to get his commander off onto the other planet, but the teleporter just shut off. Oh, and it looks like he's in he's in the red power by seven. Oh, almost two K. Oh, there we go. No. Oh my goodness. And he's running. And he's gone. Off the commander goes. Just right. not gonna get this match to finish, are we? Probably not at this point. Negro needs to fight off Nub. But Nub is moving forces through and he's actually taking hitting Negro pretty hard. Ah, that was awesome, sending the units through the teleporter. Oh, that was brilliant. Oh, but now they're attacking the teleporter rather than going through. Come on, go through. There we go. Now they're... he's using the enemy teleporter. Oh, that is so awesome. He is? More, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Max's units are going through the teleporter. That was awesome. <laughs> And there and goes the come on, finish it! Oh, that was so awesome! <laughs> Use the enemy teleporter for the win. And that is it. Oh, that was great. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, it looks like that the Lords of Truth take the victory, and they will be facing off once again with the three towers.